I had shared the links of various trusted websites in the description. There you will find all of your drone components from a small shock absorber to the latest DJI drones. Everything is available on these websites. Yesterday I was searching for the simulator cable, FSI6 transmitter simulator cable. Then I noticed that the price of the cable lies around 800 on Flyrobu website and on Robu it was around 600 to 700. So you have to shuffle between two or three websites in order to get the genuine price for your product, right? Frame. So firstly, you have to select a frame according to your budget and size of drone. The one I am using is the oldest and the cheapest one. It's ZMR 250, a 5 inch quadcopter frame priced around 1000 rupees. Motors. Then comes the motors part. I am using the DYS Sunfund 2207 2750KB brushless motor. It is not the best one, but again, it's one of the cheapest. I had purchased them way back when I had started this hobby. Since then, they are just doing their work well, having no noticeable issues. So before connecting the motors on the frame, let's just increase their wires a bit. So here I have connected all the four motors on the quad and with that I had also put the heat shrink tubes on the four arms of the quad so that the wires would look a bit more neat and clean. Yeah. Now as our over four motors are being installed, let's talk about ESC. Previously I was using this one. It's a 35 ampere BL Heli d 600 Opto ESC. Pretty long name, isn't it? But I am no longer using this thing. As in the previous video, I had told you that I had bought a new latest PDV stack and in that stack I had got this one, yes. So now let's just install the ESC on the quad and here are all the accessories that we need to do so. And yeah, here's one capacitor also. It is very useful if the battery is giving some amount of burst current into ESC, which can actually burn the ESC. But if the capacitor is there, it will store that burst current for a while. And when the requirement for that burst current is the most, then this capacitor will release that current. So here comes the F405 V3 flight controller. It's literally awesome flight controller at this price point. All the features are just insane. Like onboard, battery indicator, wireless Bluetooth connection with phone for wireless programming of the quad, and a lot more. Even I myself have to figure out some. And now we have to just connect the ESC cable with the flight controller. As a controller, I am using the FSI6 transmitter with its FSIA6B receiver. Specifically, I am using the IBUS protocol of this receiver. So now I am soldering the yellow wire that is the signal wire of the IBUS protocol to the... And the rest to the red one is positive and the green one is negative to these two. 5 volt and G that is ground. Battery the battery that I'm using now is a 1500 mAh 100C battery. Here I wanted to highlight a point. It was my previous battery that I had purchased way back when I had started this hobby. The mistake that I did while buying this battery was I hadn't taken care about the C rating of this battery. It was 2200 mAh 40C battery. Remember 40C and now I'm using the 100C. I know its MH is more like it's 2200 mAh, it's only 1500, but the C rating matters a lot. So what happened like, as I was flying with this battery day by day, day by day, day by day, it goes on degrading and today it's a condition like it's one cell is completely dead, nil zero voltage and rest three are okay, but overall the battery is of no use. So while purchasing the battery, you must take care about the C rating as the current output that the motors are fetching from the battery is higher than what battery can give, then your battery will have the same condition. But mine has so just take care about it so now as our all the component descriptions and connections are completed so let's program the quad
here when everything was at its place something unusual happened oh oh And then afterwards, in order to check that whether it's working well or not, I decided to give it a last punch. And guess what? It worked well. <laughs>